hey guys and girls Westy here so if you want to do a the quick version of um, installing Clipane shake and tune modules uh, basically it gives you the mac some real specially tailored clipper macros to initiate tests on either the belts or the printer X Y axis to to, remem to measure the machine axis behavior this is basically an automated call to clipper test resonances macro with custom parameters um, and then there's a custom Spyth uh, Python script which is called for um, generates uh, some insightful and improved gra graphs uh, so I found that when I installed this you, you have to actually SSH into your machine to pull these files out whereas the old version of full install of Clipane you didn't have to do that it created the files the files are created but I can't access them so I might have to contact them and find out why I can't actually contact them but I'll show you how easy it is to install um, all you need to do oh hang on what's this part here install script so it's a stand so this clip and uh, shake and tune is a standalone module from the clipane ecosystem Oh, two measures that okay so so um, basically the installation is pretty easy all you need to do is jump into your machine ah so we'll go back to this easy we'll just follow it step by step it's easy 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 so just copy this line here in step one jump into your uh, ssh into your machine so i'll close this down and we'll start up again so ssh into your machine Um, and paste it into your machine so I've already got this set up but I'm, I'm just showing you how it's done so it's, it's, this says it's already installed but um, it, I, I just installed it before but it's yeah just so just install that um, <clears throat> jump into your so copy this line here copy jump into your machine go to machine um, printer.cfg and all you need to do is basically paste that line in there like that just like that I've already got it in there as you can see so in your include statements save and save and uh, close and then go back into here uh, this is th this part here is for getting all your updates for it so copy that and then just go back into here into your machine and go to your moonraker file and find a spot which is there which is what I've done right there and then paste it in there and go save and restart restart again and then when you go back into the dashboard you should see some yep so you'll see these macros in here uh, axis shaper calibration with some options on the side so I just leave those alone so it's designed to start at 5 um, hertz and run all the way up to 133.3 <coughs> um, and then there's also a belt shaper calibration setup um, and so all you need to do is pretty much home your machine so home all while it's doing that <clears throat> and what it does is it creates later this what this file won't be there um, but what it does which it doesn't tell you in the in the in here what it does <clears throat> is once it actually starts running the uh, calibra the shaping um, algorithm uh, you know setup or scripts it actually as part of it, it automatically generates this folder and puts the files inside so there's already some in here 
Um, but I have not been able to access those files to, to view the view the data. So you need to um, SSH back into your machine. So so basically, you go once you've done your home all, you'll have all your blue light. This is for st uh, my stealth store guards all set up, so that's why they've gone blue. <clears throat> uh, so that's all done, and then all you need to do is go down to your macros and go access caliber shape, ca axis shape of calibration, and it automatically starts vibrating your machine you can't even see it um, <clears throat> but it is definitely vibrating and it will vibrate from 5 hertz this one's doing the um, yeah 5 hertz and then it'll ramp all the way up to 133.3 stop log and then it'll start again input shape will start again and it will um, go through the other axes so it'll do the X first normally and then the Y once it's done those you'll end up, end up with some nice little files in your in, in here but you can't access them for some reason um, I think it's a read write issue I'm not sure I remember there was a script in the clipping old clipping setup where you could, had to change the um, you had to change the permissions by, by running a script uh, on your um, EC in, in your inside the machine itself so I'll show you how to find it <laughs> so you need to go into your uh, log into your machine still uh, go into printer underscore data and then go to config and you'll see the, the shake and tune results and then um, what, I've done. I've already done one input shaper. You'll see some scroll across it, but you'll see a PNG for X and a PNG for Y. They're the graphs. So just I just double click on those, and it automatically opens them in my um, image software, and that'll give you the information you need here. So, so over here. Um, it gives the information so this is a y-axis after a test and it's come up that the uh, best shape of Hertz is 36.0 and then my it's recommending MZV for the best shaper and then in this case and on my one everybody's will be different um, and MZB I need to run it at 3800 no greater than 3800 so maybe less <clears throat> and I'd start less, start at about 36. Um, and yeah. So that's what it does. Um, so yeah, so anyway, so it takes about three minutes per side, per belt. So X and Y. And then it does also, you can do your belts here belt shaper and it's also got the option options to do this and this and that and, that. Um, and then you can check your belts and it'll tell you how far how close your belts are and you can also do um, uh, an exitate setup where is somewhere is that ah there it is exitate axis and you can use this to um, to find Oops. to find um, issues with your machine so you can set it at certain frequencies and basically try and rattle it to bits to figure out where the problems are have a look at the graphs and figure out what's going on anyway I'm going to stop this now um, and do an emergency restart um, so that's pretty much the guts of it And uh, yeah, so it's pretty pretty easy really. So hopefully um, that's something of interest to you guys. Cheers.